it's uh, I was going to start with it's good to see everyone, but it's uh, what's really good is excited to get going with spring ball, and uh, you know we've it was just kind of going through it. We got forty four players on our roster that have never gone through spring practice, so it's uh, you know spring's a great time to develop and uh, hopefully play a lot of football and and through that playing and grow and uh, and get better. But but looking forward to the opportunity and, and, you know, this is as late a start as we've had for spring practice. And a big part of that was we wanted to take advantage of a, and try to get as much uh, in our winter conditioning, strength and conditioning program. And I and, uh, thought we had a good first phase in that. And, and now looking forward to having a productive uh, spring practice, hopefully. Jeff Patricus. Good to see you again. <laughs> um, you always good to see you virtually, Jeff. <laughs> you had to add a running backs coach late in the cycle. And I'm just curious, were you surprised you were able to get someone with such a, a the resume that he has given the timing of Settle's departure to Kentucky? Yeah, it um really excited to uh you know to have the opportunity to work with with Gary and uh you know obviously the fact that he was available you know certainly uh we, we feel fortunate and it, it seemed like uh a lot of the movement in, in uh in coaching seemed like there was a lot that was later than it, it typically was and um and and I don't quite know the reason why, but, uh, but really, uh, you know, we're grateful that, uh, you know, Gary was available and, and it was, uh, kind of the process was pretty cool. You know, first, uh, Travis Frederick reached out to me and, and really it was, uh, pretty quickly, uh, realized that, um, he'd be a great fit and, uh, was interested. And, and so, uh, I'm excited for our players. I'm excited for our players to to be with Gary and, and certainly uh you know I know that anytime you know you get someone come in and um you know offers a different perspective uh, you know personally I I love that uh, you know influx of of new ideas and and really I, I think that um you know certainly appreciate all the guys that we're here and, and, and left, but, but the, the opportunities that we had and, and who we were able to add to our coaching staff, I, I think are really, really good fits and, and excited uh, for our staff and, and, and really excited for our players. And, and I think that's where this spring will be nice too for, for, for them to be able to get the opportunity. And even for like Elvis, you know, this will be his first, spring with the guys and and you know there is a different approach that you can take in spring ball and uh it, it's got a little different pace to it and so um you know excited about all that but yeah it was really uh really fortunate and we're excited about gary certainly Jesse. Paul, how will you approach the challenge of being in charge of the quarterbacks now, in addition to your responsibilities, calling plays and being the head coach? I think, you, you know, um, you just do it, right? And, uh, you know, n none of them are, you know, not foreign to any of them. And um, I think that helps. And like everything, you, you also don't feel like you're, have to do anything necessarily on your own, you know, and, and yet, uh, you know, I'm confident and, and I feel like what's best, it all started with what I thought was best for the program and for all of our players. And, you know, I think the ability to, to add Hank Poteet to the staff and um, which, you know, for that to really work meant, uh, you know, to for me to do the quarterbacks and and have had experience with that and um, had experience being a play caller and now I've had experience you know being a head coach uh, feel confident can do it do all those and and, and not compromise in any way. 
Steve. I just wanted, what went into the decision to decide to start calling plays again? What made you decide? How has that kind of changed the dynamic going into the spring? You know, I think it, um, I think it was just kind of letting everyone know what was happening. Um, you know, I think that f you had a lot of conversations and, you know, I've had these conversations with Joe for years and, and every year, you know, we'll hit on some of the same topics and, and we thought for everyone to be able, kind of be able to do the best that they can do, um, you know, with the amount of volume uh, required, you know, with, with, with Joe, particularly on game day, um, that it kind of fit. And I think that anytime, you know, you're working with the, the quarterbacks, I think there's a natural uh, fit to to that being a a pretty good spot to to call the plays, and I, I don't know if I'm right there or if that's just what what I personally you know have always done, and, and so um, believe in that it might be more the latter than than the first part, but it's um, you know just wanted everyone to know. I guess I don't know. George. Yeah, Paul, are the protocols you attack spring football when it comes to COVID, is it the same? And is it just started, but is this offseason kind of feel a little lighter because there's so much less going on? You have more knowledge of how to attack it this time around? Yeah, I think there's, uh, you know, what's different, you know, we still got to certainly be really mindful of it. And, um, and yet I think even just, you know, things have changed on campus. You know, we've got the the campus-wide testing and, and um, you know, in the season we were doing the antigen testing. Now, you know, our players are getting, uh, they're getting tested three times a week with the PCRs. And, and, and I think there is something to be said about, you know, our, our guys, uh, we all know, uh, you know, there's nothing new, you know, when they're working out and they've got the masks on and, and um, you know, we've been through it enough where, um, you just kind of, you know, what's expected and, and you do it. And, and yet, you know, we're, we're just thankful. I think again, that we can, you can have spring practice and, and certainly we understand the value of it. And, uh, you know, I give our, our medical people a ton of credit and throughout all of this, they've been on top of it and, and, um, you know, great communication. And, and so, you know, certainly try to do everything you can to, to uh, you know, be as smart with everything that's happening. But it's, um, I think part of what makes it go smooth is that, uh, you know, our players have, have gone through it a lot too. And so, you know, there's, I don't want to say you're used to it, but you're familiar with what needs to be done. And, you know, so you tell your guys, you know, the difference is, you know, they're not, testing off you know outside of the building but you know they're handling it and you know for them to be able to work out for them to practice that's what they got to do there's no problem they're going to do it 